Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in the last video, we created our menu, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can add it to our page as a block. And it's going to function the same way as any other block, but there's a lot of extra little options that come with the menu block. So let's get going on that right now. So we now have our new menu created. Let's head to Structure, and let's head to Block Layout. Now that we're in block layouts, what we want to be looking for is our sidebar navigation. Chances are you'll find it under none. And what we want to be looking for is our sidebar navigation. Now you'll see main navigation, breadcrumbs, primary admin actions, but what we're not going to be seeing necessarily is that menu that we just created. So we could come here to our blocks and you might look for our side navigation and we could look all over, but you're not going to find it. That's because we need to place the block first. So to place the block, let's come to secondary menu here. So to figure out where we want to place this, you'll see all these different block regions. We have the content, the breadcrumb feature top, and once we have sidebar first, this is most likely where we'll want to place this. However, if we scroll up to the top where you could say demonstrate block regions, it's going to show us our page and it's going to show us where exactly all of the regions are. So for instance, we want sidebar first, so uh, let's go ahead and put this in sidebar first. Let's head back here, let's scroll down to sidebar first and let's click place block. Now let's go ahead here and let's come down and, well, we could look for it and here it is, or you could type in side nav here and have it filter for you. So now that we have this filtered, we can click place block. This is going to give us our block screen, which we may have seen before. Now the menu levels is interesting because in this dropdown, we have access to start at an initial menu level. For instance, if you wanted to start at the child level, you could set this to be two and then we won't ever see that initial link and we would only see the child link. If we set this to one, it's only going to be showing, it's going to be showing the parent and child. Likewise, we have this drop down that says, how many levels do you want to display? You could have a menu that is maybe six levels deep of just different nesting of different uh, levels of content, right? And you don't necessarily want all six of those to show up in your menu. That would look outrageous. And, and you really, maybe once you get into that page, you have another menu that shows the next couple of layers deep. Well, this is where you'd change that setting. Right now it's set to unlimited. But for this example, since even though we only have two layers, I'm going to set it to two because that's all I want it to display. Now we want this to be able to be seen on uh, non-restricted content types, non-restricted pages, and by non-restricted roles. Basically, we want this to be seen by everyone on every page. If you want to restrict what types of content it is, or what pages in particular, or even what roles, you can head back to the conditionally display blocks video to have a more understanding about the visibility for blocks. You can see we can even have it to display the title or not display the title. I'm going to have this side nav title actually be something different. So the back end name of this is going to be side nav, but let's actually have this displayed as related posts. Okay, and let's click save block. Now we have our related posts. Let's head back to the front end of our site and you can see we have related posts. And we have this little carrot to let us know that first post is a child of recent posts. If we click this, it's gonna take you to that individual post. You'll notice that the current link that we're on is actually changed to black. Now, this is going to depend greatly on what theme you're using. This is the built-in Bartik theme. I'm gonna show you how you can install other themes on your Drupal 8 site in future videos here. And in advanced tutorials, I'm gonna show you how you can even create your own theme. However, that's for another time. So we've now created a menu, we've added it to our blocks, but maybe I'm not happy with its placement. I want this to be at the top. So let's head back to our block layout. Let's grab related posts and let's drag it all the way to the top here. So now it's going to be above tools and above search. We can click save blocks, head back to our page. And when we refresh, you'll see related post is at the top of the page. Perfect, 
this is just how we want it. And if we ever need to get back in here, we can click the uh, edit button here, configure block, configure menu item. So we now have a new menu, we have a new menu block, and we have it in our sidebar. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video on me up at Twitter or Facebook. If you want to purchase the rest of these videos before they're released on YouTube, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and you can purchase these for download there. In addition, you could also subscribe to be a Level Up Pro and get early access to streaming these videos. And be aware there's going to be a new Next Level Views Premium Tutorial Series available for those who want to get into advanced views theming. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.